Now everybody say thought, voice, word. Thought is what your spirit generated from interaction with what? With other spirits. Your mind cannot generate thought. Your mind only catch thought from your spirit. I say dimension of your thought that you don't need to do anything about. God can do it. So the Bible says that unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above you could ever thought or ask or imagine or ask. So there is a side of your imagination, there is a side of your thinking that you don't need to do anything about that God can do for you. Has it happened before that in your home? Ah, I wish somebody can just take me to Red Lost after the service today. Okay? And while you are thinking about it, somebody just call you from nowhere and say, I'm coming to greet you. I'm not at home, I'm in church, I don't know where I'm going to leave you. And the person said, I don't care, I will wait until you feel you're done. And after the place, said, make mention of any way today, your, your lunch is on me. What will happen? At the end of the what is the first thing you're going to say? Take me to where? Thought is powerful. There is a dimension of your thought that if you don't convert it to word, it's not going to bring the kind of result that is supposed to come. There is a dimension of your thought God is committed to, but there is a dimension of your thought that God will not be committed to until it becomes word. It is that word now that the Bible now says that I watch over to perform. So if you don't convert that thought to word, it's not going to become anything God can commit to. As you are seated now, there are a lot of thoughts that has crossed your mind and they have been straightened out you've already forgotten about them ideas imaginations that never see the light of the day because you did not speak it out i'm teaching you spiritual intelligence if you don't convert those words those thoughts to words they're not going to happen 